Hello. Hello, everybody. This is your weatherman here, and we've got a new game. This one is called, what is it, Super Power Evolution Simulator? Yeah. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't come right forward. You die. All right. So I'm here mm -hmm. with Elephant Love. Turn the wrong one. And Andrew Speed Solver. Oh, you need to update that name. It's pretty old. And, well, and uh, we're going to introduce you to this game, run around a little bit. Um, like this. Yeah. And uh, show you a little bit about what this is all about. This is, uh, I guess, a game that was made after Superpower Fighting Simulator and stopped being... And training simulator stopped being updated. So we'll go to the spawn center. Wait, is it? Okay, I think it's this way. Um, yeah. And yes. yep, here's the. Ooh. Okay, I need to turn my own. Coming in hot. Uh, all right, so this is where you start the game. If you come in for the first time ever, you'll pop into here. These uh, these little eggs here. This is the basic egg. You. Uh, you can get these eggs by spending the shards up on the top right. And then you've also got, so you've got these purple shards. That's one of the currencies in the, in the game. And you've also got uh, money uh, or coins, gold coins, whatever, uh, mm -hmm. that you can, tokens, sure. Tokens that you can use to uh, spend on upgrades. And for my next upgrade in Psychic, anyways, I need 750,000 tokens. So I'm nowhere near right now at 219,000. Uh, here's, here's all the stats for the game. This is very similar to Super Power Fighting Simulator. You've got Endurance, basically determines how much life you have, uh, how much health you have. It also determines uh, how hard you... If somebody hits you, how hard it bounces back or how likely it is to bounce back and hurt them instead. Uh, strength is pretty simple. It's just your, your hitting uh, or punching power. And then psychic, that determines how fast you fly. And there are, there are also some skill uh, attacks that are based on your, your psychic ability. Because I like to fly around, I've decided to main in psychic. That's my highest multiplier. I'm currently at 23.43 UD. Undectillion, maybe? I, I forget. Undectillion. Okay. Uh, that, the highest multiplier at 33.55 million times. Um, nice. And the strength and endurance, uh, the, you know, those are both about an order of magnitude lower. Connor, what are you doing? There's, there's elephant love for you. Let's congratulate him on number 94. Yeah, yeah, we can go to the leaderboards here. Updated. Oh, they're not updated. Ah. But I'm number 95. You'll put chat, you can see. Okay. Yeah, so... And he likes dogs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that wasn't me, but that's uh, that's all right. <laughs> uh, so Andrew, Andrew, the speed solver, is at number 95 in the world for total power right now. Yeah. I'm number 92, and Elephant Love, he's not in the top 100 just yet. I think he's got a little ways to go. Yeah, and Psychic in UD, I'm number 56, but it's, it's, it is it's uh, it's outdated. Yeah. It's got me at 4.33, but yeah. it's all right. No, I think he, I I think he's not. He's not. He's just outside of it. Yeah, oh yeah. 18N is the... Yeah, uh, he's too far from it. He, yeah. But I'm number 78 in playtime. I'm the only one on playtime leaderboard in this group. And the, the rankings go based on total power. So right now it's got me at 92nd, but these, these rankings are also outdated. So it, it's hard to know. Uh, somewhere in the 90s. Yeah, somewhere in the 90s is where we likely are right now. Oh, yeah. Also, you guys are from Spot Storm Chasers. Maybe we'll accept you if you're good enough. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. This uh, guys, it is extremely outdated. That is really yeah. Hard. That's uh, that's that's our stats like two weeks ago. Yeah, it's a long time ago. We've uh, we've gotten stronger since then. But yeah, if you want to join the Storm Chaser squad, you've got uh, the the three of us here. Uh, we've got twenty five slots, so definitely definitely room for people that want to play. 
to uh, to join. Um, you have to be powerful, otherwise you're going to... But I'm the owner, so you have to... Yeah, you have to be powerful. Me. Yeah, you do have to talk to Elephant Loves. Um, but, I mean, you can talk to Weatherman, then you can get Elephant Love, like, and then, you know... If you find Andrew the Speed Silver, or Weatherman, or Tony Calvron... Yeah, I, I can I can soon yep. just ask them about the flood. Yeah, I, I, and I'll, I'll, I'll ask Connor, and he'll come into a server, and it's up to... So, when you... When you get in the game, uh, you can I'm you can sorry. pretty pretty easily get up to a, a hundred psychic, a uh, hundred speed if, if you want walking speed. It's not really a major stat in the game. There's the one hundred strength training area and the one hundred endurance training area. So this is whoops, wow! Someone's grinding at the hundred endurance area. They are, yeah. And so am I. I um, get one billion from it. Yeah, that's pretty good. But I get like so you can come in here to these uh, to these areas, and you've got three actions at the bottom. Your one, two, and three. Uh, your number one is your punching, uh, or your basically how you train your strength. Number two is defense, or how you train endurance. Uh, and number three is your psychic, and that's what I'm uh, sitting in here is the psychic training area. Yeah, the psychic is not loading on the screen. I don't know. You're probably getting like trillions. Yeah. Or quadrillions. It, it's no, hard to. That's like, you're probably getting quite a million. Because that's what I'm, I'm probably getting. And once your jump speed is high enough, uh, yeah, it's hard to. Speed. Yeah. It's hard to do anything slow. Uh, but yeah, you can see here, just standing on the endurance thing, I'm getting 2.34 quadrillion or something. From here to say. And to jump, you just hit space a couple of times. I, I don't think when you start playing, you can't fly right away. Thank Thing I think. Do I also show them your stabs? They already did. I did. Yep. And so this guy right here, Hi. uh, Hyperion, he uh, he's he's angry that I haven't completed his quest. But wait, how? He hasn't seen us. Wait, oh my god. Well, it, you can talk to Hyperion and he'll guide you through the process of of building of building stats through the game. Um so with his with his main quest, uh the the the, the quest that I have to the quest that I have to do for Hyperion next is to get 15 and strength That's gonna take. and 15 and psychic. Uh, and we're supposed to complete that. Well, when you when you complete the when you complete the main quests, you get quite a bit of tokens and maybe some shards. So that is you, it is a good good idea to complete the quests uh, just so you can get some get some stats right away. Yeah, I was in the floor. I was flying still. Where are we going? So let's see. The, we've got the we've got the two. We have the uh, two places to spend your purple shards here, the basic and the ascended. The Yeah, you probably probably don't want to spend them there. What the what those uh what the what the eggs what the eggs do is they give you they give you currency so that you can um hatch these wisps. And these wisps, they yeah, come in. Uh, they come in difficulty. They go from basic to rare, um, to profound, to exquisite, and then divine. So regular in the cave eggs, which are better. It goes quartz, jade, topaz, and lapis. So, uh, based on the the wisps that you hatch, uh, you can you can equip some of them, and they will give you additional multipliers. Also, so. That's what these floating things are near my head here. 100k tokens. That's what I did. And yep, it's good that you use three three wisps. Yeah, it's it's a lot better boost. Yeah, let's go. And the 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 crystal cave. Yep, the crystal cave is is right here. And yeah, you can. This is where you get the most. Exp you can spend the most amount of purple shards here. A hundred thousand purple sh uh, purple shards just to open just to open one of these. All right, I need three more. I can get one on my team, guys. Um. So, 
the the white the quartz is the most likely to get but it's going to give you the least amount of the least amount of multipliers the the jade is the next is the next rarest that that was andrew the jade is the next uh the next rare next rarest one topaz is is kind of the legendary color there um what the viewers might have and uh lapis is the i don't know the 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 rarest i guess uh of the eggs to hatch and of course we'll give you the the biggest multipliers once you hatch the eggs you just you can uh evolve. if you have enough you can evolve them i highly recommend you do that uh, you can otherwise you, you, you can hold on to 100 i think and then you can upgrade your storage at one point to to 200 um but you, the idea isn't to hang on to a lot of these wisps. Isn't that doesn't really do you any good. The only reason to hang on to some are, are to evolve them, to get to get higher, to get uh, better quality wisps, so that you get higher uh, stat multipliers. So, um, so that's that's the the wisp and the purple shard program right there. So never click mass delete. Yeah, it'll delete every single one. You are not locked in the quit. He did that, and he lost a bunch of his one million stuff. He is like barely anything now. Yeah, yeah, that's he, not that's not great. Well, then he got mad because even though we told them about the event, and he just decided not to play during it, and he got all mad at Connor when he didn't tell him apparently about it. Hey, it's it's all right. Um, so from from the beginning area, I'm not going to go through and show all of all of the areas here, but yeah, there's uh, the it's all outdated. The the next the next area where you can find um, where you can find a, another egg is if you if you Spear. if you yeah if you take off from the spawn point and you fly towards this purple volcano looking thing over here um, near this near this hut where you can train psychic once you have one uh, one septillion uh, of of psychic uh, once you get here there's this egg with the halo on it and that is the divine egg and that's that's probably the that's probably the most expensive one no, um but you can paid. right but of these types of eggs this is the most expensive and you know again you can see the the common and rare there's no chance of getting those here so that's nice um you have a 23 percent chance of getting profound 60 percent of exquisite and then 17 divine so if if you're going to um, buy the the common type of eggs. Uh, this is the best place to do it because you get the uh, highest percent chance. Something. <laughs> um, the if if you don't what I if, you, the air. if you still I want guess. if you still want a decent chance to get something rare, but you don't have the shards or don't want to spend seventy five thousand purple shards. You can come up here to this floating uh, meteorite with the purple glowing rocks in it, and uh, you know it, it does. It, there's still zero percent chance for commons, uh, but you know there is at least a low percent chance for rares with profound and, and exquisites uh, also up there. Also, a tiny chance to get divines if you just want to uh, spend a bunch of uh, spend a bunch of uh, shards in one place. That's uh, that's what you can do. But guys, did you know that in the eggs, there's a tiny, like you maybe saw in the cave egg, there's like a 9.9 .9 for lapis. So there's a 0.1% chance for the secret. I don't know what the stats are. Nobody on YouTube has ever got it. Although it's, it's probably 20. like times 20 or something. But yeah, that it's so rare. Only like 90 people in the game have ever got it. Yeah, so you can, uh, like other Roblox games, there are secret uh, wisps that you can unlock. Uh, I haven't gotten one yet myself, but... Uh, that would be uh, even more rare than divine, so that would give you the highest uh, initial multiplier. We just don't know exactly how much uh, how much it would be. So, um, so this is uh, the this used to be the the max training area before the uh, bef before the latest update, um, and this is up here at fifteen DC. <laughs> 
15 VC, uh, 17 N, and 50 OC training areas are here. Glacier Island. Yeah, but yep. it doesn't have the sins, but, but they're up there. Okay, so 40 UD is times 200 to 15 DC, 50 TD is times 200 to 40 UD, and 10 QID is times 100 to 50 TD. I found that out on the Wikipedia page. It's very useful. Any questions about the game, just go there. That's what I learned, so yeah, that's what I recommend. Uh, so this is this is like the prison uh, type landscape. Like a, a lot of stuff is around the city. Um, Hopefully, don't do that. You've got your main city with the spawn point, uh, and then you've got uh, you've got the general, just your general city here with, and it's divided by a bridge. Um, in the library, there's just training areas. Uh, where's the city hall? Because there's a there's a different quest giver in the city hall. Across the bridge. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I mean, I mean, right? that you're in the wrong way. So it's like right. It's to go down. Go down. Go down. Go walk. Go left. Turn left. Turn left. No. 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 Okay. No. 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 All right. Get down. Get down. Oh. Turn left. Honey bun. Right there. Honey bun. And then go in there. And then stairs and the rainbow. The yeah, the mayor's office. Uh, if you run upstairs here. Uh, and then you can find this guy that will give you auto train if you complete some quests. Yeah, if you yeah. talk to him, he'll. Uh, Wait, you, can... you? Oh, I have not completed his quest. This is quest. Um, you have to it... survive for six hundred mil. Uh, I've done all mine. Yeah, you get auto train for free. Uh, uh no, I I do. Well, but that's just once a minute. Um. That would be pretty bad. Yeah, they so you've got different people that can give you side quests mm -hmm. uh, aside of the side of the main one. Um, but you know, it, in general, it's uh, it's a good idea to complete these quests because outside of outside it's of PvP, outside of PvP, there's not there's nothing else that's PVE in the game besides completing quests and training. So. Um, Let's see. The one of the one of the guys is over here on the farm. Okay, it's on the no no no. You're on the wrong way. So it's that way. Yeah, it's right next to the farm. Uh, right. Where are you Kenzie. Oh, there he is. He's there's, standing next to the tree. I know what blue is though. It's right next to one species. Like not completed. Yes, I see. I, um. Where is the blue? It's uh, one of speed. Uh, psychic here. And oh, that's right. Yeah. By, right by the one SP psychic training area. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. bounced. My guy still up. Rose busts his head open. Uh -oh. Yeah, right there he is. There he is. I see. I see. I saw him a lot when I was grinding up for crocodile. Oh, well, see, there you go. I, he gave me five K shards. I'm start. Yeah, you have to kill so a one thug. So the blue is basically the the good positive guy. reputation, um, uh, good guy type of quest. The red is the negative reputation, or sort of the bad guy quest. And yeah, and they're, they're probably just going to give you increasingly difficult uh, they, people they to kill. Between three troublemakers and one thug, and three guards and one officer, alternatively forever. And one one. Kind of cool thing about this game is you can you can There's fly anywhere you want pretty quick, and you can fly below water too. And this yeah. is uh, if you if you know where somebody is, this is a good way to sneak up on them because people can't really see below the water. Yeah, pretty, pretty so this is the probably the best way to travel if you don't want to be detected is to slip under the ocean and get where you need to go. Like, like top players, Paragon. See, guys, we're not last year. No, they were Omnis, and we were ruler of times. But in this, we're still training up. Like we're not, we're barely top one hundred. But they can yes. go. We're like the fourth best rank in Sega Evolution, and Connor's sixth best rank. And uh, and we get killed a lot in in this section. So this is the brand new area. This is it's nighttime right now, so you can't see it, but it's basically a, a snow themed area. Um, your your psychic training areas are uh, are near the. Near the water. Um, one is at, one's at the floor. Whoops. And there's another one. Oh, wait, Whoa. Wait, 
Yep. Wait, wait, you Wikipedia said it was on a pillar. Okay, don't listen to Wikipedia on that one. Okay. You just so, yeah. YouTube don't listen to Wikipedia. That one was wrong. I guess it was. So, this well, this is brand new. So, and you've also you've also got the strength, the strength uh, training area, and the endurance. Oh, that's another strength one. Yeah, there's a lot. Of... Endurance is in here think, somewhere. Yeah, endurance. Means... There's an endurance one. Yeah, uh, yeah. In, inside the floor. Oh man, uh, my flying speed is way too fast. Uh, in in a general sense, when you're looking for the training areas, your endurance ones they're going to be in like cages or have uh, spiky things around them. Your psychic is going to be near pools. Uh, Peace yeah, peaceful, peaceful looking areas, and your strength are going to be um, near the monuments and, and stuff. So this one's near a pyramid. Uh, um, there's one. I don't know where the strength one though. I just barely anyone made. There was one. There's, yeah, those are like spiky one things. right here. That is, that is spiky. It's not surrounded by them. Oh yeah. Here's another one. psychic training area. Point. That is yeah. Neat little lights and stuff. That's my favorite one. Tin quite is pretty cool for the recycling. Yeah. Now, it'll take a while to get there, but yeah, I don't think it's... it's it, hard to work, yeah. At least they added these training areas because there there wasn't really anywhere anywhere else to go. Um, now to... <laughs> the, uh, the, next, yeah. uh, the next rank up for me mm. is going to be Apex. Wait. But you need 50 DD to get that. So, or 500 DD to get that. So you you can see that this evolution down here, this is lower. So that's 10 DD. So that's you don't have to do this. But it's but it makes a lot of sense. It makes the most sense to go after the you know the next evolution when that when it makes sense to do so. Token boost, shard boost. This is the best thing. And yeah, you do get a significant token boost. Yeah, um, whenever I got crocodile guys, I was the best one in the game. Oh yeah, I, I want to tell you a funny story. So it was the night of the update. I was at one point four eight or one point four nine in, and the math and the requirement for Y class one point five in. The update happened, and it changed to 3N. Not even joking, it set me back like three days. Yeah, yeah, the uh, new games can definitely can definitely do that. Um, so yes. we've got, uh, there's rank ups and there's evolutions. Uh, this is the last evolution uh, that I'm aware of right now, the tiger evolution. Mm -hmm. um, after, uh, once you get the tiger, once you do an evolution though, it resets your class all yes. the way back to the beginning. Yes. Now, because yeah. of the multiplier, it gives you uh, 1,000 times, uh, a 1,000 times multiplier instead of 150 times. It will be easier to bump up those classes again, but it, it does still take some time. I mean, make two hours for XYZ, maybe. Um, and then once you, once you get back up to where you were, then you start uh, training for the, for the next ray. Um, so then after Apex, uh, I, you know, I haven't... Yeah, you. They've got some other titles, um, but uh, the multiplier that goes up that'll be that'll be the important thing. So from three times to a hundred times, yeah, do it. Get eight dials unbound and Paragon. Those are some really good multipliers. The ones at the beginning are terrible, trash. Like they give like times five and times six after they increase. Like some of them are like times two and times three at the beginning of the game. They're That's terrible. The problem, That's for everybody. Oh, here's the other endurance training area. It's uh dun, dun. behind the behind the waterfall. So that was that was interesting. I wondered what was back there. Um so in at least in this uh in this episode, pretty much just introducing the game. Um most uh most of the time probably be you know, going over uh squad strategy and PvP. In future episodes, is that's kind of the the point of the game. Once you've trained yourself up, so it's the squad squads are a really fun thing to do. Also, if you go into a squad, please turn f killing or attacking squad members off. We don't want any confusion if we're battling like House of Mercy someday because House of Mercy. Also, there has to be a requirement. You have to at least be a crocodile future. No, well, yeah, you have to be one of the top. Oh yeah, I'm just been grinding you the no, entire the time. Top. Guys. At least we have twenty three point two nine D. You have to be at least an X class. Yeah, 
Yeah, we don't. I mean, yeah, you don't. You sweet. don't necessarily need the the top one hundred people. You just need you just need people that are gonna have fun. That's the most yeah. important thing. But if we have an X cl- F class, he's obviously not. Yeah, you got you guys got to train up. X- I'm just gonna let you if you're like yeah. X class is X class is pretty easy. Tea. X class takes like a two days of grinding. But uh, that's uh, that's about all we've got for this. Uh, Initial episode here, so yeah, we'll try to answer the best we can. You can uh, let us know if you'd like to see uh, something covered in future episodes, or we can answer it in the comments. If you guys have any like short answer questions? Yeah, we can uh, leave leave those questions in the comments. We can answer them there, or make a make another episode about something, and uh, we'll catch you the next time around. This is your weatherman. Andrew, the Speed Solver, and Elephant Love. Subscribe or I will find you. No, just subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to watch our videos. Just, you know, if you made it this far, you probably want to like and subscribe. But then yeah, again, yeah. if you don't subscribe, you might see me under your bed. On your, you, you can't even drive. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right, guys. Egypt. Don't care. Check it easy. Yeah, see ya. Later. Be careful of the storms. I'll be.